Hey everybody, Brooks from Drag Times here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm adding some speed to my cars and not the normal speed that normally comes along with Drag Times. Today I'm e increasing the charging speed of both the Ferrari and my Tesla for home charging. Now if you're not familiar with the Ferrari, this has this is the SF90 Stradale. It's a thousand horsepower and it is a plug-in hybrid, hybrid vehicle right here. That means that you can plug this in and Ferrari gives you a charger. I'm gonna go over that in a minute and you can drive it only on electric mode. So if I jump in the car right here, I believe I'm about four miles of range and you will see right here, the range I have is four miles. Now the range total of the car is actually 15 or 16 miles. I'm gonna use the charger that came with the Ferrari and you can see, look at the mess I have over here. I got two cables, I got one for the Tesla. This is a 32 amp charge charger that came in my Tesla. But you should note that when you buy a new Tesla, they don't give you a charger there anymore. You gotta go buy your own. And sometimes the stock Tesla charger that they would sell you is not even in stock. So you gotta go out and buy your own. And today I'm gonna show you a solution that I'm gonna have to eliminate all these cables and go fast charging on both the Ferrari which is actually this probably pretty expensive Ferrari charger to give you with the car. It plugs into 110. And if I go over here, press this button here, that should pop open the charger. I can open up this here and we will take the Ferrari cable and we will plug this in right like that. And let's see the charging speed that we get. So there you go, five hours and 16 minutes to charge this car. 10 miles to so 11 miles to charge this car 11 miles is going to take five hours but with this new charger i picked up that's going to cut down the time significantly let's check it out so again to go over my current setup i have the tesla this is a 50 amp 1450 kind of rv plug i got a 50 amp circuit over there and this is a standard plug this plugs in here again this is optional from tesla so you have to go buy a charger when you buy a tesla now ferrari does does give you this but it's gonna take over five hours to add 11 miles of range to the car using this 110 outlet. So the charger I picked up here, what I got here is this Altel Maxi Charger AC Wall Box Home. So let's do a little unboxing here and we'll get this thing hooked up and I'll show you all the advantages. So this one charger here is gonna replace both of these and increase my charging speed from 32 amps on the Tesla to 40 amps. And, and I believe this is probably like four amps. So we're gonna go way faster charging the Ferrari. All right, so quick unboxing here. Uh, this is actually a lot lighter than I thought it was gonna be. It's a hefty piece of equipment here, uh, but it's not that heavy. So let's uh, get this unwrapped here. So this is the Altel Maxi Charger. It's got a lot of cool features. Uh, it actually connects to the internet, so there's an app that you can connect to the charger to monitor your charging. Right now on the Ferrari, I cannot do that. And it's got charges, it's also got Bluetooth and RFID, and I'll go over that in a little bit. So basically, you got your two cables here, and it's gonna come with this 1450 plug, which is gonna plug in right into that socket I just showed you. And that's it, it just takes a couple minutes to install. Really, really simple. And then it comes with this 25 foot charger cord which is wrapped up nicely in this bubble wrap. Let's get this undone. Right here, this will plug directly into the Ferrari. And if you wanna plug this into the Tesla, there's a little cheap adapter that'll plug into here and then right into your Tesla. And you are ready to go charging both the Ferrari and the Tesla at faster speeds. All right, so installation is super simple. It comes with this uh, a metal mounting bracket with a couple of uh, holes that will hang the charger on. Uh, it wouldn't fit right here. It's a little too wide, but it's gonna go right up here. And then the plug will drop around and go right into my 1450 outlet and we'll be good to go. This should take about five minutes, throw a couple of holes in the concrete and get this thing mounted up. Actually right here, they give you a little mounting kind of kit here. It comes with the concrete uh, screws and uh, anchors. So there you go, just like that, just a few minutes, we got it installed, it is powered up and ready to go. Now let's do some charging tests. It also has this really cool um, built-in holster. So just tap it in right there and uh, there you go. Much, much more cleaner. We got one cable, one box and everything now. All right, so let's do a quick charging test on the Ferrari and the Tesla. Let's see how fast we're charging before we get to some of the more advanced features like the Bluetooth, the RFID, the Wi-Fi. I have this right here 
and we will plug it into the Ferrari. All right, so now that we're all plugged in, let's see how long the charging time is. Now we were at over five hours to just one hour and 17 minutes. Isn't it cool display on the Ferrari there? So uh, time is cut by, wow, it's about five times faster than the charger they give you with the Ferrari. That is just awesome. All right, now let's unplug from the Ferrari and try the Tesla charger. Now to use the Tesla charger, we have to plug in the Tesla adapter, which I have right here. That'll allow us to plug this into the Tesla. Now we'll go from 32 amps to 40 amps. So not as big of an increase, but definitely a decent, decent increase in speed with the Altel charger. All right, so we take the, te the adapter that comes with the Tesla. There we go. Now we will plug it into the Tesla. Tap on the charge port door, that should open it up. And then boom, we plug right in. All right, so now that we're plugged in, let's check the charging speed on the Tesla Plaid. Here we go. You can see we are charging at a solid 40 amps, 235 volts. And of course, if you buy the charger from Tesla, this would only charge at 32 amps. So definitely a decent in increase in speed as well. Now there's some awesome features. There's an app and Wi-Fi. Go over that real quickly. All right, so next up, we will connect uh, my iPhone app to the charger. You download the Altel app here and uh, you click you click on this um, add charger here. It's got a QR code on the side of the charger that you just scan there, there, and then it asks you for the pin number, which is included in the documentation. You can also scan for the pin code, which they make it really easy. So there you go, and then you press the link button. Linking successful. After connecting the charger Bluetooth, you can configure Wi-Fi and configure charge settings. We'll connect via Bluetooth right here. Uh, it asks to pair, we'll say okay. Configure Wi-Fi, and then we will add Wi-Fi to the charger. I guess you can download updates and then monitor your charging remotely, which is actually pretty cool, because you can do that on the Tesla, but you can't do that on the Ferrari. So if I want to check in on the Ferrari and see what the charge state is, I can just log into the app. Go back into the app here, you can see that it picked up. Uh, you can see the charging in kilowatt hours, how much is added, how much time is there, how much duration is gone, and then the uh, output in uh, kilowatts. And, uh, and when you put your costs in there, it'll also generate costs. Other cool features of the app here, um, you can add RFID cards. So in this section, you would add a card. This allows you to, if you had this charger outside uh, and you don't want people plugging in, you could uh, give out access, D access RFID cards. You would scan the card in the charger and then it would allow you to charge. Other cool things in here are charging history. And you can see this will graph your charging history over time and uh, how much CO2 is saved, your charging counts duration, and, and cost, which is kind of cool because Tesla doesn't have that right now, and of course, neither does the Ferrari. Some other cool features, this unit is IP65 rated. What that, what that means is you can mount this outside in the weather with no problems. It also has a hardwire option. If you wanted to hardwire this instead of use the plug, you can do that as well. It also has some intelligent energy management features. So within the app, you can actually schedule charging. So if your area, has cheaper electricity rates at night. You can plug in your car and set this to charge in the middle of the night to save you money. It also reduces uh, electrical load on the grid, so you can uh, help out with that as well. All right, so that's a wrap of my review and install of the Altel Maxi Charger 40 amp. Charges my Ferrari, charges my Tesla. will charge any car that pretty much comes by here, and uh, it's just great to have this upgraded and added flexibility to my garage. And if you're interested in picking one of those up with any appropriate discounts, I will drop some links down in the description. You can go ahead and check it out. Thanks for watching.